My name is Leonard Lahr, and I live in this house right here, right beside milepost 210. And it was about 12.05 last night that my wife woke me up. She said there was something going on. She just heard a loud pop, and it looked like there was some flames nearby. So I jumped out of bed and went out on the balcony, and it looked like our trees were on fire. So I came down real fast and ran out to get a closer look, meanwhile calling 911. And the fire was just right beside milepost 210, which is beside our house. And it wasn't even up to an acre at that point, but it, and it was moving away from us. And, uh, but I thought maybe it, there was a car wreck, so I went down and looked along the bank, and there wasn't one. Firemen arrived about that time, and um, so then I came back into the house and started calling my neighbors, and then watched for the next two hours until I felt like we were safe. And what did you see in those two hours? Uh, the fire started, it was going in all directions, uh, except the road was blocking it on our side. And the wind was primarily from the north, so it was moving faster to the north and then climbing the hill. Uh, no, the fire was moving to the south, okay, because the wind was blowing it south. To the north, it went just a little ways, and then there's a cliff, well, really two cliffs, and they stopped the fire moving north. And then it uh, it kind of went, it would, it would move slow and then it would just go really fast again. And the wind was shifting, uh, so sometimes it would go up the hill faster and sometimes it would be uh, just moving south faster. But it, like I said, within two hours, uh, we felt fairly safe. And it was about then that the sheriff came and said that we didn't have to leave, but he took our phone numbers to call us. And then we went back to bed. That's it.